Hey guys, John Hartley here with you, and today we'll be looking at the audio waveform effect, which is located under Generate in Effects and Presets. So I've got my comp here, uh, and we'll we'll take a look. Got some free music from Free Music Archive, and I brought that down into my composition. You can see the waveform right here, and so far nothing going on with our composition. So let's go up to Layer, New, Solid, and we'll make that comp size say OK. And so now we'll drag the audio waveform onto our black solid. And we'll go ahead and rename this as waveform. That way we know. So you get this pink line right away. And if you scrub through, nothing happens. Why is that? We take a look at audio layer up here. And right now it's on that solid, which doesn't make any sense because, you know, that's not what we want to have happen. But we'll switch it to Broke for Free, uh, our song, and we scrub through now and we see all of these nice little lines. To start off real quick, we'll just look at the display options. So we have digital, which gives you kind of bars, analog lines, which gives you peaks and valleys, and then we have analog dots, which is just kind of dots, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, but we'll switch to analog lines for this. You can adjust inside and outside color. So we'll make it a neon green and a little less neon green. And scrub through and there you go. It still looks the same. Now one other thing to look at is the displayed samples and this adjusts how how much it's going to be split up. So if you just have, you know, 12, you're only seeing 12 samples taken from this big waveform down here. But if we go all the way up to, you know, 300, it's going to be a lot different and you can start to get some, some different shapes out of that. One other thing to notice is the maximum height. So you can adjust how high or how low it's going to get. The more samples you have, I think the, the worse it looks, the higher it gets. But if we bring this down now to, uh, say, 50, starts to look okay. I'll bring it down a, a titch more down to like 250 and bring this back up. And yeah, good enough for now. So then you have audio offset, which is gonna offset what you see here from the actual audio down there. Uh, I don't generally use that. I haven't found a use for it yet. And then we have thickness. I like to get it kind of thick and then softness kind of judges how much it gets feathered. So I'll bring this, keep it at 50. And random C, this is gonna adjust kind of what part it's pulling from, um, where the, the waveform is, is starting, and kind of the, the randomness of it. So we take a look through here. I'll bring that maximum height back up a little bit. Bring a random C down to zero. And now let's take a look at paths. So paths so far we have none. Let's create a path by adding a mask. And so we'll make a straight line. And then for path we'll say mask one. And so you see that it jumps up to that path and is now stuck to that path, which is pretty cool. We'll add another point right there and give it a little bezier. And now we have a zigzag of our waveform. I'll go ahead and make an end and a beginning. Ram preview this out. So there you can see how it's adjusting to the music and I overall it's it's pretty cool. Just the idea behind it. Uh, maximum height I may bring down a bit and display and samples bring down a bit too. Uh, one thing that I found out is that if you make a circle, you have to adjust the mask a little bit. So let's go ahead and make a second mask. We'll set this up to be more of a circle. Loop that back around. Yeah, and... All right, there we go. And so over here in path, we'll switch to mask 
two. When you take a look here, you're seeing that it's getting cut off on the sides. So how do we fix that? We just switch it to none and there we go. Now you have your uh, waveform on a circle and going to whatever beat you want it to go to, whatever your audio is down here. Another cool thing about this is that you can switch the display options whenever you want. So right there, we'll just switch back to uh, mono. So we click off and we can see how it's going right there. You get some different looks, which, which is pretty sweet. And analog dots, go back to this guy. Looks like a funky scatter plot that's going along with the music. I don't know, you could almost use that as a, a science fair thing with molecules and chemicals or whatnot. Anyway, uh, lots of cool different things you can do with this. It's very flexible. Um, so take a look at it and play around with the settings and, and see what you end up coming up with. It's pretty cool and I'll probably have a part two that goes maybe a little more in depth into uh, kind of a, a straight line type deal and we'll see if we can come up with something awesome. That does it for this time. If you have any ideas or questions about After Effects, feel free to let me know. If you have uh, tutorials you'd like to see, put them in the comments below and I'll try to get to those as well. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'm John Hartley.